It's finally here, it's Christmas. So I gotta tell Santa my wish list. Up the escalator, no time for stairs. Past the bakery with yummy eclairs. Skate across the fountain and I prance in line. Yeah, I'm counting down the seconds till the chance is mine to share my wish list with Santa. everybody, this is your daily dose of all things royal. Merry Christmas, my gorgeous, good-looking friends, wishing everyone a very happy and safe holiday. This is just a quick video I wanted to bring to my international audience, considering that majority of you are overseas, what the U.S. is saying about this mockumentary. We've all suffered through it, and it'd be really nice to share with you some of the things that are being reported. So Us Weekly is a weekly tabloid magazine that features celebrities that, you know, do pay from time to time, like Meghan Markle, to have articles featured in here. Now, it sounds like this story came from the Sussex side because it makes the monarchy and the family sound extremely cold. And it also does emphasize that the Harkles made the right decision in doing this docuseries. You guys decide. So the article is written by a journalist, Jamie Harkin, who has written in the past about the royals. Jamie is pro-Sussex. The last article that she did was about the Queen's funeral, and it did look like it was doing damage control for the Sussexes. You can review that video that I did, link below. This article begins... Prince Harry and Meghan Markle pulled no punches during the second part of their six-hour Netflix documentary, Harry and Meghan. Harry accused his estranged older brother, Prince William, of screaming at him during a family meeting. You know, after reading that out loud, it just sounds so whiny and it makes Harry look like such a wimp. And he was in the army or he was in the military? Come on now. And Meghan claimed the palace essentially fed her to the wolves in a thinly veiled attempt to distract the public from other royal scandals. Is she indicating that this was an attempt to distract away from the Prince Andrew situation? These two don't care about the family period, so I don't think that that's the case. But I'll continue. The reactions have been mixed, with some fans celebrating Harry, 38, and Meghan, 41, for speaking out about their experience in the firm, while others have criticized them for courting yet more attention. Sources say members of Harry's family, including William, and King Charles III are livid over Harry and Meghan's revelations and have officially cut ties with them. Like, here's the thing. Are we surprised that they're upset and angry? I think that would be expected. Like, what other emotion do you think that they would have? Like doing cartwheels or something? Makes no sense to me why they would feel any way other than anger and being upset with them. Charles is furious and wants to strip them of their titles for good, says one source, noting that William is appalled by Harry's decision to air dirty laundry once again. Well, it's the same laundry. Any optimism William had about their relationship improving down the road is gone, adds the source. He is disgusted. Gosh, this is not the best picture of Catherine and William. Anyhow, the article does recap a little bit about the documentary mentioning that it covers from Harry's childhood in the spotlight to his courtship with Meghan and their 2018 Windsor Castle wedding. It then goes on to say that Harry also details the fracturing of his bond with his brother, claiming William flew into rage when he discovered the Sussexes were stepping back from their royal duties. And in quotes, it says, it was terrifying to have my brother scream and shout at me. He said, later adding, the institution side. Part of that, I get. His responsibility is survivability and the continuation of the institution. Harry and Meghan also claim she was used as a scapegoat to pull the focus away from negative stories about other royals and said the family was jealous of the positive attention she initially received. The issue, noted Harry, is when someone who is marrying in, who should be a supporting act, is then stealing the limelight. The source says Charles, William, and 
Princess Catherine, are adamant those claims are untrue. They insist they made every effort to make Meghan feel welcome and appreciated while she was in England, shares the source. William is said to be especially upset that Harry included a scene in which he receives a seemingly angry text from his shortly after Harry and Meghan's bombshell March 2021 TV interview. That's just beyond the pale as far as William's concerned, says the source, adding that William brutally warned his brother that the docuseries is going to backfire. Harry is destroying his relationships with the royals. He can't come back from this, says the source. The damage is done. One thing is for sure, the relationship between Harry and his brother will never be the same. And that, I think, is quite sad. And if Diana was alive today, she would be terribly upset that this has happened. The article talks about Catherine saying that while Catherine, 40, is relieved the couple didn't tear into her as badly as they did other royal higher-ups, she's upset over Meghan's digs about her not being a hugger. Plus, the overall disdain that's shown towards the family she loves is hard to take, notes the source. You know, I can understand that, and I think it was quite immature of Meghan to make up such a petty story. So the end of the article says, Harry and Meghan have no regrets. They were well aware the doc would have extremely far-reaching repercussions within the firm, explains the source. In an ideal world, they'd like to be on decent terms with Harry's family, but if the decision from across the pond is to cut them loose, they're prepared to live with that. They're not willing to live their lives scared to tell the truth. Somehow, I feel like... This is something that Meghan wrote. Seriously, this really reeks of Meghan and Harry. So finally, it says, Next up is Harry's memoir, Spare, which hits shelves in January. William and Catherine, along with Charles and his wife, Queen Consort Camilla, are stealing themselves for more bombshells while they try their best to move on with their lives. When Harry's book comes out, there will be fires to put out and presumably a whole new set of allegations to deal with says the source. But the royals aren't going to let it dominate or let alone spoil their holidays. Here's what I think is happening. We're going to start to see more of these kinds of articles coming out in the U.S., I believe, to drum up buzz around this book that's about to be launched in like two or three weeks. I do believe that they're going to make a big deal about how many bombshells are going to be in it. But you know what I think is going to happen? It's going to be the same crap that they're going to be spinning. They did the same thing with archetypes when, you know, the queen passed away. There was so much buzz going around about, oh, Harry and Meghan want to go back and edit some of this footage. And, you know, Meghan wants to edit the archetypes podcast because there might be things in there that she regrets saying. No, I think it's all about drumming up buzz to get people interested to buy this stupid thing. And like with Archetypes, it bombed. Like with the Netflix docuseries, it bombed. And I will bet, like everything else that they have touched, this too will bomb. So here's why I believe that Meghan and Harry paid for this spot this week in Us Weekly, where it says, Harry and Meghan's Oscar dreams. Laughable, right? Harry and Meghan made quite a splash, setting a Netflix record for the most watched documentary series with viewers worldwide spending 81.55 million hours watching the first three episodes in the first four days. Now, an insider tells us Netflix execs have submitted it for an Academy Award. What? <laughs> They are thrilled with the success of the doc, says the insider. It has surpassed their wildest expectations. Accolades aside, the insider says Netflix is hoping to continue covering Harry and Meghan. No, nothing has been finalized, but they want to do a yearly documentary about their work and progress. They expect big things from them in the future. Jesus. Say it ain't so. No, I, I don't believe that for one second. I believe that this is Megan putting this out because every year she has been trying so desperately to attend this award ceremony. And I think this is what's going on right now. I don't believe this for one second. This is not an award that you can buy nor pay bots to go spam and vote. This is decided by the industry. And from what I understand is that 
The A-list celebrities in Hollywood want nothing to do with this couple. So nice try, Megan. Save your money. Put it towards something good. Stop wasting it on this nonsense. I don't know, guys, I feel like this barrage of media and propaganda that they keep pushing daily is going to continue into 2023. And I think they're only just getting started, in my humble opinion. But anyhow, what do you guys think? For the time being, let's enjoy our time with our family and friends and appreciate what we have in this world. Because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So, And I know I don't say it enough. And that's going to be my New Year's resolution is to make sure that I tell you guys how grateful I am that I have this wonderful community who is supporting the work that I'm doing. And going along this journey has been absolutely worthwhile. So thank you, everybody. And for all those that have been generous with me, I am incredibly grateful. This was a tough year could not have made it without your support. So with me, I am blessed. Much love to you all. Bye. That was such a broad.